what we've got here is a setup to run a xenon short arc lamp. Uh, I've obviously got the lamp right here in the protective case for safety. Over here we've got the igniter circuit, which is sort of like a Tesla coil with a neon sign transformer, capacitor bank, spark gap with a couple of pieces of wire, and a pulse transformer. And we've got the lamp connected up to two uh, battery chargers, which are currently set up as power supplies with adjustable voltage and current, instead of whatever proper lamp ballast uh, we would use. Currently we only have one power supply enabled, and that's not quite enough power to get the lamp firing. But uh, we'll show you what it does so far. DC on. Okay, ready? Firing in three, two, one. Not quite enough to fire it. So we'll connect up the second power supply and we'll get more current and we'll come back later. Okay, okay we're going to try it now with uh, both uh, power supplies on. We've got either eye protection or uh, and blocking it off with their hand or a welding mask on for uh, protection against the bright light. So uh, I think we're ready. Here, okay, uh, just a minute. Okay, ready? power supplies are on. Go for ignition. Three, two, one. Ooh. That worked. Get okay, continuous light there. Now I guess we'll need to build a proper uh, mount for this so we can run it safely out of the outside of the box. Okay, here we go for another test run. Okay, this time we'll try to run a little bit longer. We've determined it doesn't get that hot that quickly, so it's not going to melt the plastic. Okay, DC is on. We are ready. Can you ready to fire up yeah, the ignition? Just ignite for once, one pulse, go. Three, two, one. A little bit unstable, there we go. Okay. Power that off seemed now. to work okay. Yeah, power's off. It's getting a little bit unstable there. I'm thinking that the uh, constant current mode on these power supplies isn't quite suited to this. We'll look into that, but I think that worked well.